Hello everyone, this is Donis Bendicio and today we will be discussing the introduction to group dynamics. And in this chapter, we will be discussing some of the tendency of individuals or groups to join with others. And in groups is perhaps the single most important characteristic of humans and the processes that unfold within these groups leave an indelible imprint on their members and on society. Group dynamics are influential processes that take place in groups and also the discipline devoted to the scientific analysis of those dynamics. In this chapter, we will ask the question such as, what is a group? What are the common characteristics of groups? Are there different types of groups? What assumptions guide researchers in their studies of groups and their processes? What fields and what topics are included in the scientific study of group dynamics? First, let us answer what is a group. No two groups are identical to each other, but a group, by definition, is two or more individuals who are connected by and within social relationships. Groups vary in size from dyads and triads to very large aggregations such as mobs and audiences. Group-based relations are memberships. Unlike networks, groups usually have boundaries that define who is in the group. Social identity, according to Tajpel and his colleagues, is a sense of shared membership in a group or category. People who meet regularly via computers display many of the defining characteristics of a group. What are the common characteristics of groups? People in groups interact with one another. Bill's Interaction Process Analysis or IPA system distinguishes between relationship interaction and task interaction. Groups seek goals such as those specified in McGrath's circumflex model of group task, such as generating, choosing, negotiating, and executing. Groups create interdependence among the group members, such as unilateral, reciprocal, and the like. Interaction is patterned by group structure, including roles, norms, and interpersonal relations. Group cohesion or cohesiveness determines the unity of the group. Entitativity is the extent to which individuals perceive an aggregation to be a unified group. The perception of entitativity, according to Campbell, is substantially influenced by common faith, similarity, and proximity cues within an aggregation. The Thomas theorem applied to groups suggests that if individuals think an aggregate is a true group, then the group will have important interpersonal consequences for those in the group and for those who are observing it. Groups that are high in entitativity are assumed to have basic essence that defines the nature of their members or essentialism. Are there different types of groups? A number of different types of groups have been identified. Primary groups are relatively small personally meaningful groups that are highly unified. Cooley suggested such groups are primary agents of socialization. Members of social groups such as work groups, clubs, and congregations interact with one another over an extended period of time. Collectives are relatively large aggregations or groups of individuals who display similarities in actions and outlook. Members of a category share some common attribute or are related in some way. Research suggested by Likel and colleagues suggests that people spontaneously draw distinctions among primary groups, social groups, collectives, and more general social categories. What assumptions guide researchers in their studies of groups and the processes within groups? Levin first used the phrase, group dynamics to describe the powerful processes that take place in groups. But group dynamics also refers to the field of inquiry dedicated to advancing knowledge about nature of groups. Early researchers and theorists who pioneered the study of groups include Le Bon, Vaughn, Durkheim, and Alport. A number of assumptions shape of the field's conceptual paradigm including the following. Groups are real. Early researchers disagreed about the level of analysis 
to take when studying groups such as Alcourt objected to such group-level concepts as the group mind and collective conscious. Groups are more than the sum in arts. In some cases, the characteristics of groups cannot be deduced from the individual members' characteristics. Levin's field theory maintains the behavior is a function of both person and the environment. Group processes are real. Research studies such as shared study of norm formation suggest that group-level processes can be created through experimentation. Groups are influential. Groups alter their members' attitudes, values, and perceptions. Triplett's early study of group performance demonstrated the impact of one person on another, and Milgram's work demonstrated that a group situation can powerfully influence members to cause harm to others. Groups mediate the connection between individuals and society at large. Groups are living systems. Tuckman's theory of group development, for example, assumes that over time, most groups move through the five stages of forming, storming, norming, performing, and adjourning. Groups can be studied on several levels. Individuals are nested in groups and these groups are usually nested in larger social aggregations such as communities and organizations. Hackman's studies of orchestras illustrate the importance of multi-level perspective that cuts across several levels of analysis. The field of group dynamics is an interdisciplinary one. What fields and what topics are included in the scientific study of group dynamics? First, understanding groups is the key to solving a variety of practical problems. Many researchers carry out action research by using scientific methods to identify solutions to practical problems. Despite the many problems caused by groups such as competition, conflict, poor decisions, Weiss knows that humans could not survive without groups. Researchers have examined a wide variety of group processes, including group development, structure, influence, power, performance, and conflict.